Uh, I had a two-parent household, but uh, my mother divorced my, my father, so I had a, a stepfather, even though I never called him that, but you know, just for clarity, that's who he was. So I had my biological father in my life, my mother and my, and my dad. Now I'll just say dad instead of father, because I, I don't like the whole stepfather thing. Um, and you know, you were torn between uh, when you're dealing with uh, an outside entity, you know, your, your, your biological father coming in, your loyalty is torn between the two, you know. Even though you have this man that has come into your life, uh, your mother's life, and brought you in like his own, uh, for no reason you still have a problem with him because he is not, you know, your biological father. But that was never discussed in my house because my mother was the juggernaut of our household. She was the strength and the strong one there. And um, she had seen some things uh, in society. She had experienced things with my biological father uh, and she saw traits of him and me. And so her goal was to make sure that I was not going to be like that. Um, so she took full charge of me. Uh, not to say that my dad didn't have any say, but he really deferred it all to her. You know, this is, you know, I'll, I'll support, but when it comes down to certain things, you know, you handle that. And she did, uh, just to make sure. But uh, it was definitely a difference in my household, having my dad and my mother there. Uh, even though my dad and I didn't do a whole lot of talking, you know, uh, but he was there. Uh, he set an example for me, you know, as far as hard work. My mother set that example as far as hard work, watching her uh, be a socialite in her sorority in the community, uh, being an advocate for strong black men, strong black people, period. And uh, to see my father go through some of the things that he did. Uh, he worked at, uh, I forget the name of the bank, but it was a bank he worked at. And I remember him coming home and listening to him saying that, you know, this is it, you know, I'm tired. Uh, I want to do something else. And he stopped and the next thing you know, he's a, a teamster and uh, working with movie productions and things like that. And man, I was the happiest I'd ever seen him in life, you know, and he took a chance on that. Even though he had a family, he took a chance and did it. And uh, unbeknownst to me, uh, as I grew older, I had a career. Uh, I had children, I had a wife, uh, same thing. I, I met my wife and she had two children from a previous uh, uh, situation. And I took them in, not knowing that what my father and my mother had shown me was what I was gonna emulate without even like going back into a book, but it was something that was inbred in me that this can be done, you know? And um, it came to a point where I was dissatisfied with what I was doing. And I said, this is it. And I'm gonna step out and do something else. And again, not by my father telling me anything, but what he showed me, you know, that you can go out and do something on your own and just open up your whole world to something different, you know? And when he did that, start to become a teamster, he was a better person. Uh, my mom was happier, you know, money was better. So I was, you know, we had better things and a better life, you know? So um, it was a two parent household to answer your question, but um, you know, it was just, it was amazing. You know, the things that I learned, not by what I was being told, but what I was shown. You know, it was basically burned into me and I didn't even know it until it was time for me to use it. And then I was able to come back as an adult and say, damn, okay, this is why I do this, you know? Hello, my name is Michael Anderson, producer with Heroes of a Thousand Faces. Thank you for taking the time to watch these motivating videos. Our hopes are that these videos will inspire you and young men in our community. Join the conversation, follow us on social media, and also on our website, 1000heroes.net.